Halo Mapper is using here, and we got some details on Forge from RTX, yeah. They recently uh, announced kind of today or last night they have the uh, Halo Forge kind of demo thing. This pre alpha is being developed by a certain affinity, which is a great studio, and they're going to do a fantastic job on it. I'm sure they've helped out with numerous other Halo projects over the years. And there's a couple of details you should know. Well, first of all, I'm not feeling 100% well here, so I'm going to try to run through this pretty quickly. Uh, there's three Forge environments, three different ones for you to play around with, so that would be pretty awesome. Um, items can be uniquely highlighted now, so it'll tell you which you're picking up, you know, when you're trying to grab stuff and you grab the wrong thing, you're like, ah, oh, God. It'll be highlighted and let you know. You can lock items into place if you don't want to move them. There's just a button that'll lock it so, you know, you don't bump into it or you move it out of the way, it won't happen anymore. Uh, the budget is back, if you notice, in the corner, but it seems to be very large, like very, very, very large. And you can duplicate objects anytime you want to make two, because you can't have one sided base. And there's a magnet lock system which allows it to make, you know how you could never quite get some things exact? Well now it'll instantly do it for you and it'll kind of lock it onto different portions of the uh, blocks you're using. So you're making a bridge, you lock it together and you make a straight, smooth bridge, right? And it's got dynamic lighting, so that whenever you play something, and you go into character mode, it will bake the lighting as if it was actually like being developed. And you get some beautiful looking things. They've got shadows. What you place will cast towards like buildings or you know, just on weapons and stuff. Everything will have shadows and it'll look very dynamic and mold with the map a lot better. And finally, kill balls are back. Yeah, there's some kill balls they jumped into. And move down. There's player trait zones, similar to death zones, but these zones they change and manipulate the gameplay. So you say you want to jump higher, you want to move faster, you want less damage in case you're doing a huge jump, you can do that now. And Spartan Ops will take place six months after the uh, campaign, and customizing progression for your character will match kind of how you play and stuff throughout Special Ops, multiplayer, and it'll all kind of combine. Also, Oddball and King of the Hill are known to be back, and that regicide and they keep talking about which is kind of the upgraded uh, free-for-all they've been speaking, or rumble pit, I guess. And yeah, that is it. You watch the video, it's like 17 minutes, totally worth it. And yeah, I hope you check it out and enjoy it, because Forge is going to be really kick-ass, and I can't wait to see what you guys make.